I'm gonna show you how I wash and style my hair using a twist method. And this video is gonna show you from literally the beginning before I get in the shower until my hair is dry and I'm ready to leave the house for the day. I'm gonna show you all of the products I use and explain step by step how I style my hair. It is early y'all and I'm getting ready to jump in the shower. Then I'm going to show you exactly how I style my hair from wet to dry, the process and all of the products I use. And I do something called the twist method. So here we go. Let's get in the shower. All right y'all, I'm in the shower. My shampoo is Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek. This is the one I love for my curls. I know it's not the curly girl method, but this shampoo and I use the matching conditioner really works well on my hair. So as I'm pulling the conditioner through my hair, look at this, tons of hair comes out, tons. Okay, so this wide tooth comb, I'm just gonna comb it through my hair I'm gonna get out all of the loose hair that's still hanging on in there. And this comb is the only comb or brush that ever touches my head, ever. My hair gets combed every three or four days in the shower when it's covered in conditioner, and that's it. I never comb or brush my hair otherwise. Next thing I'm gonna do is rinse my hair but just a little bit. I'm not gonna rinse it out squeaky clean. I'm gonna leave a lot of the conditioner in my hair. So, rinse. I do, I wrap my head up super, super loose in my husband's old t-shirt. Nice, isn't it? And look at this hairball. Nice. All right, here we go. Time to do hair. I have three things out here. I have this continuous mist um, water mister from Seg Beauty. And all of these items, y'all, I'm going to put them in the description box. But I got to move fast because my hair's wet. Catwalk TIGI Curls Rock Amplifier. This is the important product. And then Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel a little clip thing. Okay, so what I do, I put the t-shirt around my neck because I cannot stand the water in the products like on my shoulders. It freaks me out. Okay, so even though my hair is wet, I'm going to re-wet it. I want it super, super wet so that any of the product or water that got soaked up in my t-shirt, I'm going to put it back in there. My crown tends to get really frizzy if I don't re-wet it. Okay. Bounce curl. I'm going to get a glob about like that. I'm going to turn my head upside down and squish it in. And I'm ju just don't disturb any of the curls. So I'm just kind of scrunching it in. Next thing, curls rock. One pump, same thing, upside down. Just crunch it in. Don't upset anybody. All right, here's the twist method. Can you hear how wet my hair is? I'm gonna pull this back. See how my hair is going? I want to twist it just like that and let go. And I'm going to do this in small sections around my face. See how it's putting it in the proper curl direction? Just like that. And if my hair was dry, it would stick to my fingers. 
and this would be a disaster, but my hands are wet, my hair is wet. See how I'm telling those where to go? Then I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. Because I want these to go back away from my face. I want this one to kind of come over. Whoops. I probably want this to come down a little bit. And I want some of these. Now, I will get some hair back here in my kind of crown area. Isn't this fun, y'all being in the bathroom with me? So that's it. Now that it's done, I'm just going to squish it together one last time and wash my hands. Okay. My favorite hair dryer, I have talked about this so many times, y'all, is the Bed Head. It has a certain name. I'll put it in the description, but it is a Bed Head hair dryer. You've got high and low, you have heat settings, um, but I love this thing because it's big and fat. I can set my hair in it. Um, I'm not holding my arm way out here with a normal diffuser. It's just super comfortable. And I'm gonna dry my hair completely upside down. I've been drying my hair for six minutes. And my hair naturally parts this way. So the last thing that I do is I have my head tilted like this. I'm gonna just give one little final shot to all of the roots. Again, I'm not so concerned about the ends. Like this over here, you can see it's still pretty wet. It's just the roots. I want my roots about 80% dry, 85% dry. Can you see that curl? That is the twist. That's, that's the direction we told it to go in. And all of these are going the other direction. Okay. Done. Turning off the hair dryer. I'm just going to keep my head in this direction for about 30 seconds and let my hair cool down. And I want to keep it tilted because this is how I want my hair to fall. And you can see, like, again, it's still wet on the ends, but my roots pretty much all over my hair are dry. Now, let's flip. I stand my head up, and I'm just going to kind of naturally let it fall where it's going to fall, but I'm not messing with it. Look at that. That is exactly what we did with our finger. And I know it's sticking forward, but it will fall down. I don't want to mess with it right now. I just want to make sure my, this one, you see it? I am, it's stuck together. Kind of give it a little separation. But look at all of the twists. You can see exactly that they did. The hair went in the direction that we told it to when we twisted it with our finger. Can you see this curl right here and see how it is going up and over? That is the direction, remember, that we did that twist. If I didn't twist it naturally, this hair would want to go the other direction, so it would be falling down in my face. So that twist we did when our hair was wet just gave it the, the direction to kind of send it. And then from there, it's kind of doing its own thing, but it's just the direction at the root that the twist works best for me. So you can kind of see what's happening. Kind of shaping up. So it has been about 20 minutes since I stopped drying my hair. It is still pretty wet. And I have somewhere that I have to be this morning and it's really cold outside. So I cannot go out with wet hair. If I were just gonna be home or had more time, I would just let it dry. But in, in cases like this, I'm gonna have to hit it with a hair dryer again. So when this happens, I do not flip my head over. I don't wanna mess up what I got going on here. I'm just gonna kinda hit the spots that are super wet. Okay, it's dry.
dry, but it looks wet, doesn't it? But it really, it really is dry. So I'm gonna let my hair cool because I just had the heat on it. I'm gonna go put my clothes on and then we're gonna do the final step. And this is the important step, so don't leave the video. You need to see what I'm gonna do because clearly I can't go out like this. So stick with me. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my hands, they're dry, and I'm just gonna scrunch the curl bounce product or bounce curl product that we put in there can get a little bit crispy. And so I'm just gonna kind of crunch it out. I'm not pulling on the curls. I'm just giving it and it just kind of lightens up my hair. All right, see this twist. That is what we did with our fingers. That's why it was so important. Otherwise, this hair would be over here, which would not be right. I got a lot right here, a lot of hair going this way. So I'm gonna try to get a few pieces out of there. Yeah, see that one was stuck up in there. I don't know about that. This one belongs over here too. <laughs> they get stuck together, but that's why I don't like to mess with it while it's wet. Just let it do its thing. And then if I have to pull down a random piece, then it gets some height to it because it actually dried the opposite direction. If I had pulled it all this way, it would be flat right here. There it is. That's the hair for the day, guys. But that's it. That is how I style my super curly hair using a twist method. Those are the products that I love. Again, everything will be in the description box below, and I hope that helps you. So if you try the twist method, it's gonna take you a couple times to figure out the direction that you want the twist to go because sometimes there are some sections that you think should go one way, but really that's the wrong way. So you're gonna have to play around with it. But I gotta go, y'all. Uh, Brecken Senior Pictures are back today and we have a viewing of the pictures. So we're headed off to the photography studio. So I'll see you later.